ready to fight? You ready? Well, here's the Massachusetts native, Calvin Cater, representing the Thruin Mass. And he has worked hard to round out his game over the last several years. Certainly comfortable fighting off of his back, has good hip escapes when it comes to his grappling defense. But you all know what he's trying to do here tonight. He's trying to establish that jab, invest in the body, and ideally set up a fight ending blow. If he can knock out this opponent tonight, not out of the realm of possibility that Cater fights for the title later this year. kick there. All right, early action here, and a nice hook by the boxer gets home on the kickboxer. This is exactly the range in which he wants to be fighting. Yeah, because it limits the kickboxer, and the kickboxer has a very high guard. So if you're tight and you just pivot with the hook, it lands around that guard, and he does a lot of damage with it. A big right hand, yes. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point this to the octagon and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Shot is blocked there by Caceres. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Beautiful shot to the leg. Just misses with the right. Nice jab by Cater. Just over three minutes to go. Push kick there to the body. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Target. He lands another head kick. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Caceres. Man! Nice punch here. Elbow lands at range. Beautiful hand skills here. The right, then the left. Just over two minutes now to go. Calvin Cater gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Big power shot there. Another big shot to the head. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Back and forth we go. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Circling to his right. Unable to connect there. One minute. The high kick lands. Cater gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Counters now left hook to the head lands. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard. Close to being done. So a 
strong five minutes down. Heading back to the corner now after a competitive round. And Caceres' corner has some work to do. They're going to take a look at that lip. Hopefully the cut man can do his thing and just make sure that it doesn't continue to bleed and provide further adversity for him in this fight. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Ready to fight. Ready. Round two on the way. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Well, nice job there to use his opponent's offense against him as he lands the counter hook. Nice strike there by Caceres. Attack that gut. Let's go. Get it. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, got to be careful taking too many of those leg kicks. Closing up. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. He's got some hands, man. Kick is good by Cater. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup with the hands. Got the knockdown. Let's see if he can go find the shot that's going to finish the fight. Nice. Looked like Caceres might have just missed with that right hand. Big shot lands for both guys. Good defense blocking that punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Try to establish that jab. Just over three minutes to go. Punch. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Lands a big elbow there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here. It's starting to find himself in the pocket. Big shot, too. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Get the double A. Double A's there. Double A. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. And there it is again, targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You doled out all this damage. Might as go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not going to move his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's he's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. Beautiful. His misses are entertaining. Oh, 
Nice with the hook there by Cater. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Ooh. Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to pull back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. All right, so he lands again just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his multi team. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. Just shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here. Once more, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kevin.